is in the Oval Office, sir. Mr. Ambassador, I'm sorry to keep you waiting. I was just in the White House Situation Room. Mr. President, the U.S. is trampling on the sovereignty of my country. And on behalf of President Nzilu... I've just taken your airport. Clearing the way for the 101st Air Assault to take the capital. 7,000 troops, 25 battle tanks, 15 Apache attack helicopters, and three destroyers. Strictly speaking, I conquered your country without the paperwork. Kundu is in the midst of a civil war. No, it's not. It's in the midst of a one-sided slaughtering of an entire people. Both the Secretary General of the United Nations and the Vatican have pleaded with President Azili for a ceasefire, and both the UN and the Holy Father have struck out to the peril of 115,000 Induye men, women, and God knows children, particularly the boys. Who will soon be men and will rise the up. The heads of Ghana, Nigeria, and Zaire have similarly been set packing. The Red Cross has been denied entry on three separate occasions in the last 10 days. President Nazili has 36 hours to give the command to his troops to hand over their weapons to the 82nd Airborne Division of the United States Army. At 36 hours and one minute, I give the order for the 101st Air Assault to take Batanga and run up our flag. I skipped breakfast. Anybody want coffee or something? <laughs>